in Marx's early writings, setting accounts with the German idealist philosophy was the most prominent theme. In his journalistic work, first in Germany and then in Paris and Brussels, he came into contact with politics, economics, and got involved with the revolutionary movements of that time. He and Engels took part in founding the International, the organization of workers from different countries. With the general defeat of these revolutionary movements in 1848, Marx withdrew into the study and decided to investigate to the fullest possible detail the processes by which capitalism works. Uh, this period coincided with a period of deterioration in his health due to years of poverty and uh, near starvation and overworking. In 1859, an introductory novel, uh, volume, sorry, appeared, a critique of political economy. This was the same year that Darwin's Origin of Species appeared, with which it was sometimes compared to Marx's evident pleasure. Eight years after that, in 1867, appeared the second volume, and that is the first volume of Capital. This is the only volume that appeared in Marx's lifetime. The second and third uh, were published by Engels from Marx's manuscripts after his death, and the fourth volume by Kautsky, and that was Theories of Surplus Value. For Marx, capitalism was the most dynamic mode of production, and uh, he paid tribute to the transformation of the global world order by carried out by the bourgeoisie in its uh, historical progressive phase as a revolutionary successor of feudalism. What is characteristic of capitalism is the production and exchange of commodities. Marx observed that there are two types of value of a commodity, use value and exchange value. Use value is independent of labor and independent of exchange value. In the air we breathe, there is use value and it is not produced and uh, it can't be exchanged. A commodity of no utility doesn't have exchange value and a commodity that uh, one uses for oneself also uh, does not have exchange value. Exchange value appears only when commodities are produced with the purpose of exchanging them in the market. Uh, <coughs> when commodities are exchanged, there must be the found a standard by which they can be measured. Commodities are exchanged all the time in the market, and uh, <coughs> the basis for their comparing their values uh, must be found. For example, Marx gave the example of 20 yards of linen equal to one coat. If we <coughs> look at uh, what is involved in the producing of both commodities, one is machinery or tools, the other is raw material, but the essential thing is human labor. The machinery and tools cannot be used as a standard for uh, the value of a commodity, neither can raw material, but labor is the common quality in both commodities. So that can be used for 
uh, establishing the exchange value. <coughs> Human labor is get is a partic in a particular uh, form in producing a certain commodity. It can be the labor of a carpenter, the labor of a weaver, in the case of uh, linen, the labor of a tailor, in case of uh, making a coat. But there are different types of labor, so they can't be equated. Uh, that is why uh, these particular uh, different concrete types of labor have to be reduced to an abstract um, thing, human labor, undifferentiated. Also, it can be only quantitative because labor with different quality, complex labor, for example, uh, has to be viewed as so many times ordinary labor. So that is the basis for measuring the uh, value of different qualities for their exchange. And uh, <coughs> in the process of exchanging, exchanging commodities, uh, commodity with, with a universal, uh, that is a universal equivalent, is used in order to exchange different types of commodities, and that is money. Uh, in the next video, I will look further in uh, Marx's analysis of capitalism and uh, we will see how, from where profit comes. Some clarification to what I said until now. So Marx established that only human labor creates value and this labor is can be measured only quantitatively, the different qualities of labor and the complex or simple ordinary labor are reduced to one abstract notion of uh, ordinary labor. Complex labor is so many times ordinary labor and it is the socially necessary labor time necessary for the producing of uh, the commodity. And this is according to the historically, uh, historical development of the means of production. <laughs>